Good morning. Today is a cozy kind of day. It's Saturday. I'm not doing much. Um, I'm trying to get my video uploaded from yesterday, but for some reason it's just not uploading. So it's going to be up later on in the day. But something I am entertaining myself with today is, I don't think I've shown you guys this at all, is a banjo. <laughs> I found this banjo at a yard sale a couple years ago and it's been tucked away over here and I haven't really had access to it so I um I'm gonna try to play it a little bit. I do not play banjo. I am not a musician at all. I did find this guy on YouTube his name is Jim Panky and he teaches you how to play banjo so I'm gonna go through a couple of his videos and learn a little ditty. <laughs> So I'm gonna play what I've learned today because my fingers are numb and my dogs keep periodically going oh, like just sighing because they don't want to hear it anymore and I really don't hear it anymore either. But here's what I got so far. Okay, are you ready? It sounds better when you do it with like conviction. Okay, it might be loud. See, that sounds like a banjo. best I can do. <laughs> I've literally spent the entire day learning that. <laughs> um, but I gotta put this away because my dogs are literally in agony. So am I. Probably my neighbors. But I don't care. That was fun. Well, that was fun. And now I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> I'm always so like busy, 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 busy working everywhere where I'm like, okay, I'm gonna like chill. I don't really know what to do because I'm like, no, I can work, I can do something else. So I'm just like literally standing here around the house like, I don't know what to do with myself. I mean, I do have to go through emails, but I don't really want to do that. <clears throat> oh, I guess I can ask you a question. So one design project that I'm doing over at Allen's is his front door, like his front vestibule door, lets in a lot of heat in the summertime and a lot of cold air in the wintertime. So I'm thinking about designing like a curtain that can go, Lucy's slurping. I mean, I guess I'm thinking about designing like a curtain to go in front of the like front door um, on the inside, but I don't really know what else to do to prevent um, that like major heat and coal shift right in that little vestibule area because it, it changes the temperature of the house like dr quite drastically. I mean other than replacing the entire front door system but I don't think we want to do that. Um, but I'm thinking about like a curtain in front of the front door and like building like a really fun uh, valance that can cover the curtain and he's very into like high tech, everything fully automated, everything fully smart home. So I'm thinking about trying to find a like a mechanism that can go on a curtain rod that can open the drapes and then close the drapes because it'll be easier to get in and out of the door like when you're coming home and leaving so i'm thinking like 108 inch long curtain so they're like long it's like a dramatic thing with a mechanized curtain rod opener and then build like a cool valance around it to kind of hide all of that stuff so, I don't know. If you guys have any ideas on how to like insulate a door like that, let me know. But I guess I'm gonna try to, no, I'm not gonna work on it now. I'm not going to work on it now. I'm going to relax. Um, you wanna make food? Are you want food? Are you hungry? Is everybody hungry? I guess we can make food. <laughs> I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> 
rice and chicken leftovers it is. You like my fridge? I love this fridge. I will tell you a story time about this fridge. So this is a Philco fridge that I bought from a guy off of Craigslist. Funny story about that, I ended up meeting, his name is Chris, I ended up meeting him for the fridge. He and I hit it off, became best buds, and he, we're still friends to this day. I actually ended up getting a lot of old windows from him that I'm going to be using in a greenhouse, hopefully in the spring. But this fridge, he found this in the forest and had it for a couple years as like his beer fridge. So I bought this from him a couple years ago. I did a lot of work on it. I, there was really, really rusty. I cleaned up a lot of the rust, and then I spray painted it in a this is actually a chalkboard paint, but I wanted something that was like ultra, ultra matte. So if you're looking to spray paint metal in an ultra matte finish, look at the chalkboard paint. So I'm pretty sure it was the like chalked brand of paint. I don't, I don't, don't know who makes it. Maybe it's rust -Oleum. I don't know. I'll find it and link it below. They don't have too, too many colors. Um, this is probably like their cream or ivory or vanilla, just a very basic off-white color. But I love it. It went on so nicely. I did a metallic primer, like a heavy, like raw metal primer, like three really thin coats. And then I did three or four coats of the chalked paint on here. So that combo of spray paint came out really, really well. I haven't seen any scratches on it. It, it feels matte. It feels vintage -y. and I'm pretty sure this fridge is not from 1952 which the house was built in 52 so how fortuitous um but yeah this is my fridge and I love her there's a little freezer I found these ice cube trays I think at the grocery store and it kind of matches the mint green trim up here love it all right I'm gonna take a bubble bath in my pink bathtub oh it's so cute I love this pink bathtub so much it is original to the house from the 50s I love it I need to redo all of this tile I think I'd do something fun but for right now I'm gonna take a bath and enjoy the rest of my evening I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you all tomorrow oh yeah if you have any questions q and I'm gonna do a Q&A on the last day of vlogmas so leave your questions below I'm also gonna post it over on Instagram all right, I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.